Hello, over for everybody. I'm Dan, 953 2000. I was an Irish day, two times 15 on Xbox Live. And uh, I'm back again. We're going to be doing another review. And this time it's Money in the Bank. And for you guys that have not watched my reviews before, I usually do reactions, but due to copyright reasons, sometimes it gets taken down. And so I want to so that I don't get taken down. I'm going to, after every match, review every match, and at the end of the, the entire pay-per-view, I will review the entire pay-per-view and the match itself. So starting with the kickoff show matchup, let's watch The Usos. Versus Dominic and Rey Mysterio for the SmackDown Tag Team Titles, uh, which at the moment they belong to Rey and Dominic and Mysterio. Uh, but even though Money in the Bank is all been and gone, but at the time of the, re the recording, um, then I'm at the time of the recording of the Money in the Bank, they were the champions. Whether they are still are now, I'm about to find out. What a matchup on the kickoff show, folks! We had the SmackDown Tag 2 Champions, Dominic and Rey Mysterio, defend their titles against Jimmy and Jay the Usos. It was back and forth the entire time. And then it was the last minute. It was 619 San Diego City. When on and bang! 619 connects. But to Jimmy Uso, who saved his brother Jay from the 619. And we thought that maybe, maybe Rey Mysterio could still pick up a victory. But no. They came back. The, Jay Uso came back. Hit the super kick out of nowhere. Then hit the super. The hit the U Uso splash. But that wasn't enough. Rey Mysterio kicked out of that, and then it was only when they were signaling to do a double Uso splash. But then Dominic interfered. Jimmy took care of. Well, Jay took. Well, I think yes, I have a G, yeah. I think it was Jay that took care of uh, Dominic when. And it was they, he took him onto the outside, and then it was all but over. It was a flatjack into the turnbuckle onto Rey Mysterio. Then he rolled it. Then I believe it was Jimmy Uso that rolled him up for the one, two, three with the assistance and the leverage to make sure he got that free count from Jay Uso, holding his foot onto the back of his and on to his brother to make sure they became new SmackDown Tag Two Champions, the Usos. As we go on to the first matchup of the official match card of Money in the Bank. Oh everyone, I'm down on Freddy Three Two Thousand. Not the nice dad, two times fifteen likes, but live. And now it's time for Money in the Bank. People view. We just witnessed a hell of a kickoff show when we had brand new SmackDown Tag Team Champions in the Usos. But now it's time for Money in the Bank to begin. And it, it's now, wait a minute, it's, wait a minute here. The WWE Universe is home and once again here at Texas. Fort Worth, Texas. Oh, the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Indeed. Well, Indeed, the they will be. The first uh, women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Carmella won. Well, actually, won twice that year. Yeah, Indeed. Carmella was Money in the Bank two times, but it's not about Mella tonight. Tonight, it's about will Oscar go back to back. What it's really about, Patty Stats here, is every single woman that has won a Money in the Bank match has gone on to be champion. It's you true. This, your champ. Let's get started. Let's do it. The women's but in the back match, ladies and gentlemen, is next. New uh, women's money in the back winner, Nikki Ash. I'm gonna do. That's right, Nikki Ash is the new women's money in the bank winner. I'm hoping she doesn't squander it. This is a, this is Austin. Please don't squander it. She probably will. But hey, Nikki Ash is almost the champion. That's all I have to say about that. She's just one step away from being all a champion. All she do, needs to do is find the right moment to cash in money in the bank. 
I'm gonna go into the next matchup. Oh boy, it's time for the Raw Tag Team Titles, baby! And it comes the Viking Raiders! Well, the Raw Tag Team Championship is on the line, and it's gonna be the Viking Raiders versus Amos and AJ Styles. And I'm gonna review this matchup in just a bit. And I'll see you in a second. On to the matchup. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. And we, Ray J Styles and Amos, are still the Raw Tag Team Champions, and successfully, rightfully so. It was a great matchup. Back and forth we went, and I thought there was at one point in after a Viking experience that it was all over. I thought we had been Raw Tag Team Champions, but no. Amos was the save by pushing Eric into Ivar who had the pin at the time and then Ivar made the tag to Eric and uh, AJ Styles and made the tag to Omas uh, and then everyone was clearing house with kicks I mean we had Ivar I mean, we had um, AJ Styles taking out well we had yeah it was Omas take trying yeah, yeah. I was I can't remember. AJ Styles got taken out with a kick. Then AJ Styles took 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 out. And, oh, everyone! It was Kick City, all right. It was I'm like leg sweep City, all right. I don't know what to explain it, but in the end, it was that running knee that was blocked by Amos, turned into a choke slam bomb from Amos. One, two, three, and still the Raw Tag Team Champions AJ Styles on Amos. And this is good chemistry so far from these two. I don't know how they, I don't know who's going to beat them for those tag team titles, but they would have, whoever will beat them for it would have to play it smart. So let's get on to the next match. <laughs> I like it. The new Date Rocks. New Date Rocks. I said new Date Rocks. Kofi Mania is running wild. Let me just tell you this. I can see it. I can see it happen again. He's out there all by himself with Kofi Kingston. He's going one on one with Bobby Lashley for the WWE Championship. And that's up next. And I'm gonna review the match up in just a second. And the crowd says it all. What the hell was you expecting when Bobby Lashley was gonna go up against Kofi Kingston? He absolutely kicked his ass. He kicked his ass. He, with three Dominators, a hurt lock that he didn't want to apply just yet because he knew he had him. Threw him around the ring. Bobby Lashley is still your WWE Champion. And I cannot say this enough. It's still the WWE Champion. As much as I wanted to see Kofi win, there was no way it was going to happen. He lasted longer with Bobby Lashley than he did against Brock. But still, WWE Champion Bobby Lashley. And here she comes, the Raw Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. Now, here's the thing, will Nikki Cross cash in her money in the bank against the Raw Women's Champion in this matchup? As we got Raw Women's Champion Rhea Ripley defending her title against Charlotte Flair tonight. And well, here we go. I'm going to review the matchup in just a sec. Oh my god, what a matchup! Back and forth we went. My god. <laughs> and Charlotte Flair is now the new Raw Women's Champion. In a back and forth type of matchup, I could have got it could have gone either way. 
I thought for a minute that maybe it was going to be a Riptide, but it got turned into a DDT. We had Charlotte pull up, Charlotte Flair pull up all the stops, including one of Andrade's moves. <laughs> and still tried to cheat, but got caught cheating. And then it was, it's basically, at the end of them, it was like a superplex of opportunity from Rhea Ripley failed. Supernatural selection from Charlotte Flair. That wasn't enough. When finally, um, Rhea Ripley gets her out of the ring. So she's about to get uh, Charlotte Flair back in the ring to finish things. And then she gets smashed into the ring post by Charlotte Flair. And then her legs, she puts her, I think, the left leg into that the still steps and she kicks the still steps not once but twice but three times injuring that left leg getting the figure of eight locked in and bridge so high I thought it was gonna have to tap or snap and by god Rhea Ripley tapped and we got new Raw Women's Champion in Charlotte Flair Ladies and gentlemen it's son for the man's money in the bank of Kevin Owens is making his way out here and he is pumped and ready to go. And I can imagine him as Mr. Money in the Bank for sure. Let's do it. Because I'm going to review the matchup after this. It's a new day. Yes, it is. Oh, hell. The new Mr. Money in the Bank. Biggie. Here's the new Mr. Money in the Bank. Oh, <laughs> Feel the power! Oh, I'm gonna watch the celebration, folks. I had such an intense money in the bank. I can't go through everything. I wanted Ricochet to win so badly, but I, oh man, I thought Seth Rollins was gonna win. But that big ending off the top of the ladder, then that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, until he got to the top of the ladder, and then he got the briefcase. Yes, Biggie. First of all, what a money in the bank! What a pay-per-view! And I just witnessed a one hell of a fight between Roman Reigns and Edge. Edge got screwed over by Seth Rollins in the end. He hit the spear and there was no, no referee. Referee came down and was going one, two, three, that was it. But no referee kicked out anyway. Twice. Because of the blundering ring, you know. But anyone, anyway. Edge was looking to spear Roman Reigns at the last minute and once again Seth freaking Rollins interferes! He, Edge boots him off and then gets kicked off the apron then out and over it Roman Reigns spears Edge and one, two, three and is still Universal Champion. But that's not all. After Edge goes after, after Seth Rollins and after Rollins attacks Edge and they go back so they beat, they're obviously probably beating the shit out of each other as we speak. Roman Reigns grabs the mic and says now everyone can acknowledge me. And then what do you hear is that da 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 Mr. John Cena is here. Well. I can't believe that uh, I'm gonna say this, but for once, all of the rumors of John having a John Cena versus Roman Reigns at SummerSlam, fuck it, it's gonna happen now. But the winner of that matchup will be predicted by me next time when I make my SummerSlam predictions. I personally think it's gonna be Roman Reigns again because we got Big E, man, as Mr. Money in the Bank somewhere along the line. That is going to happen. But that was Money in the Bank. i got SummerSlam as the next pay per view. I cannot wait for it. I am worn out. And I am Dan, or also on Dan RVD Trade 2000, also known as Dan Two Times 15 on Xbox Live. And I hope you enjoyed this review of Money in the Bank. And until the review and the predictions of WWE SummerSlam, goodbye. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to watch the previous video, click on the video on the left. But if you want to watch the playlist, then click on the video on the right. Also, feel free to click subscribe by clicking on the Master Chief icon on the top.